Welcome to the podcast known as Blending the Family. I am your host, Tommy Maloney. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for downloading. Thanks for that. Ha, ha, ha. Let me grab a sip of water. Apparently that's the theme of this episode, me drinking water. How are you doing? Tommy Maloney here, host of this podcast, author of the book, 25 Tips for Divorce Dads. The other book, Why Not You, Why Not Me? And then eventually the third book will be coming out one day, hopefully soon. My dad's advice at 5.04 a.m. Also, we have a kid's coloring book called 10 Tips on How to Survive Your Parents' Divorce. Head over to the website, blendingthefamily.com. You can see the coaching uh, packages there. Also on the Instagram and Twitter, you can find me at Blending Family, Blending Family. Also on LinkedIn, I should mention LinkedIn more. On LinkedIn, I am known as The Tommy Maloney, The Tommy Maloney. And you'll see um, recent, very recent uh, podcast episodes on YouTube. So find me on Blending the Family. You'll see the logo there at uh, YouTube. Episode 170. This is 170. Man, we're getting close to 200. I don't know what's going to happen at 200. I, sh- I probably should plan something, you think? I don't know. How are you doing? You doing good? Man, did you listen to episode 169? I am, uh, hopefully, hopefully by the time, uh, this comes out, I'm, I'm a little bit rusted. Rusted? Rusted? <laughs> oh my gosh. How about rested? Can I say rested? No. Episode 169 was with our dear friend, uh, Chris Williams, and I replayed his episode uh, just because of, you know, what's going on with Kenosha, with the shooting of Jacob Blake, shot in front of his kids seven times. We had the recent passing of uh, Chadwick Boseman, uh, John Thompson, and... as I, I talked about in in the previous episode, I was not I'm I'm not a huge basketball fan. I'm a Bulls fan, but it doesn't mean I sit and watch. I prefer playing uh, basketball than uh, watching it. So when John Thompson passed away, that that meant something to me because I was not a uh, college basketball fan, but for some reason I really. Enjoyed watching John Thompson when he was coaching the Hoyas um, back in the day with Patrick Ewing. I I don't know what it was. I I, I don't know. I, I in college basketball um, is probably what I enjoy out of college hockey. It's it's more pure pure sport. You know, even though I, I'll admit I'm one of those uh, hockey fans that does enjoy a good. Dropping of the gloves. Um, I still like college hockey. I still like watching what it's about. It's about skating. It's about shooting. It's about passing. And and then in my own little bubble, it's about watching the goalies. Having a son that is a hockey goalie. So I have I have a little bit of uh, of that bias when it comes to uh, the world of hockey. There we go. So episode 170, we're going to be talking about, uh, from my first book, 25 Tips for Divorced Dads, we're going to talk about tip number four. But before I get into that, I just want to let you know that if you uh, know somebody that uh, needs any kind of uh, coaching, uh, please again check the website for that. I am a certified coach. And what else? Uh, books. Buy books. Buy, I mean, not just my books, but buy books. Books are good. Mm, good water today. Must be uh, straight from the tap. All right. I am, uh, I don't know what is going on lately. I'm just feeling so tired. Um, I don't know if it's because of... My wife and I get up, take Otis for his run. We've been we've been doing more running. I I said to my wife, 
Because it's so, for example, this past Monday, uh, she said, We're going to run or walk. I said, ah, Let's walk. Let's walk. And then we got back home later on. And I said to her, No more walking. Let's, I, I just feel that running. I just, I want to start building something there, building the legs, building the lungs, uh, you know some stamina when it comes to running and so we've been running we use an app called 10k it's the same makers that do the couch or yeah couch to 5k so uh, c2 couch c2 how if i just pull a silly app up health c2 the all right C, the number two, the number five, K, so Couch to 5K. Uh, but as I said, we do uh, their other app, just 10K, because the eventual goal will be to run a 10K. But there are a lot of virtual, a lot of virtual races that I would like, I should be doing more of. I think it'd be fun just to do a virtual race. No pressure, you know, nobody can uh, be around me when I'm wheezing. Because I wheeze, I, I can hear myself, and it's not pretty. I think I put that on Instagram about a year ago, uh, me on the treadmill, and I, I just sounded like I was ready to just have the Grim Reaper tap me on the shoulder and say, yeah, it's time, it's time, you should come, you should come. So, All right, again, I hope you're doing well. I hope uh, you have some positivity in your world. I, I look at things differently at times but i i really hope that you do as well that um you know being blessed you know that's a day above ground being blessed if you have a roof over your head being blessed if you do uh even if you have a crappy day job or or a crappy job i should say because not everyone's a day job um but just be grateful and 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 i think i've talked about this on the podcast before I have to remind myself, my wife reminds me, you know, be grateful uh, you still have a job. And some days I, I am just like, wow, I was able to uh, do some stuff while I'm supposed to be having this, this day job. And, you know, I, I, might, uh, I might have to pull the trigger and go back on the road. And I hope not. I hope not. I hope I don't have to. But anyway, so there you go. All right, so as I stated before, this episode is going to be tip number four from the book, 25 Tips for Divorced Dads, How to Create Special Memories and Grow Your Bonds with Your Children. You can see this episode on YouTube. Just simply go to and find Blending the Family. Uh, You'll see the logo there. You'll hear it here on the podcast. And that's really about it. I hope, I hope you are doing well. I really do. Um, as, as always, you can always hit me up at Tommy at BlendingTheFamily.com Tommy at BlendingTheFamily.com Alright, so here we go Episode 170 Tip number 4 Which is, I will tell you Tip number 4 is Tell them every day that you love them And here, you get to hear Me go into more depth About that tip Record. Oh, there we go Recording that was a little delay. How are you, Tommy Maloney, with the podcast, the coach, the author, speaker of Blending the Family? And before I get into it, look at this, look at this, Blending the Family t-shirt. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. How are you doing? Again, Tommy Maloney with Blending the Family. I am the host of the podcast Blending the family. Can I be a little bit more redundant and keep saying blending the family? Well, you know, it's a branding thing. That's what we do here, right? We brand. We have to brand ourselves and say who we are a hundred thousand times. You're doing good. I hope you're doing good. A lot of unrest in the world and hopefully a little bit of humor, very little for me, will help alleviate the stress in the world. If you're listening to the podcast uh, audio, Well, thanks for downloading it. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sticking with me, sticking with me. For those of you here on YouTube, as you can see in the background, 
We've got the logo, Blending in the Family, and how to follow me, and not like a stalker type thing. Blendingthefamily.com, the website might be changing soon. Give you a little heads up there. It might be. On the Instagram and Twitter, it's the same thing. It's Blending Family, Blending Family. And again, if you're listening to the podcast, you can watch this video on YouTube at Blending the Family. Uh, where was I? I'm also, I, so we're, we're going to talk today about a tip from my first book, 25 Tips for Divorced Dads. Uh, book number two was Why Not You, Why Not Me, which is solely, solely on uh, ebook. You can get it on the Amazon. And we do have a kid's coloring book. I do need to mention. I love to mention. I'm so proud of these kids. Uh, Miss Becca, Miss Connor, Miss Connor, freshman in high school, and Miss Becca, a, or no, senior in high school, freshman in college, uh, Becca is. You know, and that's one thing about doing uh, the video. I don't edit very well versus doing the podcast audio, which I enjoy editing. Not editing any of this. Nope, 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 not whatsoever. All right, let me just, I'm gonna turn around from the camera and go mention that. Uh, oh, did I mention the t-shirt? So for those of you listening, I am showing off the Blending the Family t-shirt. And if you want to get one, let me know, hit me up. And we'll move the laptop a little too much around as I'm trying to just trying to get organized here. Well, there we go. All right, let's get right into it. I'm going to grab a little sip of water like I do on the podcast. Love the agua. Love the agua. I'm uh, feeling a little tired today. I don't know what's going on. So let's get the energy up. That's why I'm standing. That's why I'm standing, man. Right here, right in your face. Anyway, now I have a little too much energy. All right. Good thing for those who are listening, you're not you're not uh, subject to this insanity. All right. Episode 170, I believe I said. And again, from the book, 25 Tips for Divorced Dads, which you can get on Amazon. Don't believe what Amazon says. Or again, hit me up. Uh, Tommy at BlendingTheFamily.com. Just hit me up and we'll make a, make a good deal on, on getting you into a book. All right. Tip number four is tell them every day that you love them. And then my little caveat, my little note in here, I say, do I really need to explain this one? And then I have a note section in the book. There's a little note section in the book and I had uh, put in what makes them feel loved. So just like adults, just like uh, that famous book, The uh, Love Languages, um, there are different things or ways that our kids feel loved. Maybe it's just being present, which is always very important. There's also maybe maybe a little swag, maybe a little gift here and there, just a, I know, it, it's someone buying love, but maybe that's their wheelhouse. You know, our puppy Otis, the one thing I learned, I've learned about him is that he is a, how do I phrase it? He likes treats. Okay. So for him to work on training opportunities, he likes food versus there are some other dogs that just want to play with a squeaky toy. And I wouldn't funny if I had a squeaky toe, but toy, but, uh, his is upstairs. Sorry. I know I ruined the moment. I ruined the moment, but anyway, back to this tip. So how do your kids appreciate that they're being loved? And that's a good way to help uh, build uh, not only their self-esteem, but help build, you know, relationships going forward that they understand not only how they receive love, but how do they give love? And I think that's important of what's going on in our world right now is that we need, I'm sorry, I'm going to go, I'm going to go like, Zen moment I knew, but we need to put more love out there. There is just too much hate, way too much hate. And this is an opportunity. If you listen to uh, the previous podcast episode, 169, 
with uh, my past guest, Chris Williams, I replayed this uh, episode because I felt that with a lot of the Black Lives Matter, with um, what is really going on here in the United States, is we need to have conversations with our kids to talk to them about race, diversity, and I just, again, there's, there's a lack of trust, a lack of leadership, and again, a, lack, a lot of lack of love. And so, again, having these conversations with our kids will just help them in the future. You know, be able to have open dialogue with their friends and with their significant others going forward. And so part of me, uh, when I wrote this book, 25 Tips for Divorced Dads, I really didn't think about the order of the tips. I just, the, the backstory is that I just had a, uh, a yellow legal notepad. And after my divorce, I just started writing down ideas for a book on how to stay connected with my son, Connor. Again, after the divorce, you're not in the same household. And I really wish I had thought about the order of the tips and tip number four, you know, tell them uh, you love them every day should have been tip number one. So I saw somebody talking about, I don't know where it was. I don't know if it was on Instagram or on LinkedIn. I don't know. Talking about regrets and not having regrets. You know what? (laughs) To me, that's hard. That's hard to say that you'll never have any regrets. Excuse me. Whoa. Hey, hey, need a little more sip. I mean, get a little choked up here, but it's hard. It's hard to uh, go back and think about your life and uh, not have regrets. You know, I tried to live that motto. I try to live the, oh, I have no regrets. I have regrets. Do you? Do you? I would love to Love to hear what regrets you have at Tommy at blendingfamily.com. So there we go. From the book, 25 Tips for Divorced Dads. Tip number four, tell them every day you love them. Do I really need to explain this? And then again, what makes them feel loved? And that's the thing about this book is the way I, I formulated the book was creating a little workbook. And so, you, you know, you and your kids can sit down and have these conversations and ask them, How do you feel loved? How do you know you're loved? This could be a great dialogue for for couples as well. So how do you know each other is is loved? What is, you know, your spouse's or your partner's, um, you know, love language? How do they know? And how do you know? I think as men, as dads, I, I, I want us to embrace that. I want us to understand that it's not macho 24 seven. It's not, uh, hunting and gathering, you know, the, the old Tim Allen. (laughs) It's let's open up. Let's share our feelings. Yeah. I said it. Let's share our feelings. Not only with, again, with our significant others, but with our kids and even our guy friends. And here we are in the month of September where, uh, the month of September is uh, I believe uh, suicide prevention month, and this really hits home for me as a uh, survivor of suicide, as somebody who has gone through many years of of depression. How do I feel loved? How do I know? I am very blessed to have a wife that can sense when I'm feeling down, and she's really good at it. Unfortunately, I. At times, I, I feel I have that a little bit of a Jedi mind trick where I can sense that she isn't feeling happy, um, maybe something dealing with work or something to deal with one of her extracurricular activities where she just doesn't, isn't feeling 100%. But as I stated, my wife is very good at, at um, sensing. And I think, I, I hate to say it this way, but I, I think women are so much better at it that they can have that sixth sense that they can tell when somebody isn't feeling right. So 
again, as men, this is where we really need a, a bit of focus on, and especially for our kids and to, to be able to help our kids. You know, maybe they are going through a down period. Maybe they need, you know, some alone time, but maybe they need some dad time. Maybe the two of you just, or three of you, how many kids you have, just go out and just go have some fun. Take the dog. If you're like our dog, he'll only go for walks if it's you, your wife. He's he's quirky. I love him, but he's quirky. So I'm going to end it on that note. And I'm uh, going to say, well, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening to the podcast. And if you know somebody that needs this message, please. I, I don't know who needs this message. Uh, you know, at times I feel like I'm just talking to myself, which is okay. It's okay. I, I'm one of those people. I, I will walk around the house and start talking to myself and just throwing out ideas. And some days I'll just talk to Otis. He hasn't responded back yet. And when that time comes, I, I'm sure there's some medicine that will be able to help me with, with that. So anyway, there you go. As the wonderful actor, entertainer, MC, furniture designer, artist, Terry Crews would say, your success is my success. Have a great day. And I look forward to talking with you some other time, some other medium. And that's all I got. That's all I know. I'm just rambling now. So I'm going to hit stop and thank you.